Welcome back, Hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today, we're going to be finishing off the Freedom Unite event. The event already finished on June 16th, so by the time you see this, it's already over. For the last part of the quest, we're going to be going up against the Tigrex solo on the Snowy Mountains, much like we did when we first played Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I know I recorded an episode of us hunting the Tigrex in a group, but this time is going to be the first time that I fought him on this game solo. So I'm really excited to take him on, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, thank you guys for letting me know, there's a hidden objective in the event that if you manage to hunt the Tigrex with the sword and shield with the low level armor at the beginning of the quest line where you have to gather the mountain herbs you actually get a title available for the game for beating him that way. I never got a chance to try it out myself but that's all right we'll finish off the quest line and just show off the snowy mountains again but this time fighting the Tigrex. All right let's get hunting. All right we're gonna be hunting the Tigrex using our standard weapons and armor. Every time I get a chance to see this level, I just, I really hope that they do incorporate it when they add patch 2.0 to the game and start adding the new monsters. It is, it, is, it looks too good to just be taken out of rotation after this event. Now I'm going to be upgrading my computer shortly as well, so hopefully I'll be able to run the game even better at that point. Right now I am using the GTX 970, however, everything else in my computer is a little outdated. And with the new i7 that I purchased, hopefully it'll give that extra oomph that I need. Alright, where is the Tigrex? We haven't seen him yet. Okay, there he is! Whoa, and he looks... He actually looks pretty big. I remember someone mentioned in the previous episode when we first fought him on here as a group that he was pretty small, but looking at this model, I, I, I don't know if they increased the size for the event. He's gigantic. I'm gonna see if I could sever that tail. One thing I've noticed from the Tigrex, especially in this event, is that he'll do the, the typical triple charge attack that he normally does in the regular Monster Hunter series. However, when we first fought him, he wasn't doing that. Oh. I gotta be a little bit more careful. And as usual, my feline is nowhere to be seen. Alright, so he looks like he's going to another zone already. Blame the servers! Well, since you saw me getting carded, that little snippet that you missed between the two shots, uh, the game kind of froze. Uh, I don't... I don't even know what to say about this, but... Yep. The only thing that really worries me about this game, or the only thing that I'm scared about, not so much the monsters, more so the disconnects. Just gonna make sure that he's tagged here so I know where he goes next. Oh no! Oh! Oh, oh wow, they kept that mechanic in here, but it looks a little silly. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I, I love seeing him get stuck in midair there. Oh, bless you, Tencent. Bless you for trying. So <laughs> If you ever played Freedom Unite, I almost forgot about that mechanic. There's a little bit of an ice wall right behind me right now. And if the Tigrex lunges at you with his mouth open, he'll get stuck on there. So you get a few attacks on him. <laughs> oh, I managed to land my Wyvern's Fire there for a moment. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I gotta get more. I gotta get back to being professional again and start fighting him. I wonder if we'd be able to get him stuck in the ice wall again. And that's our opening there to start attacking his tail. Just gonna block and continue my assault on him. He's in rage right now, as you can see the red glow. Ooh. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Too close for comfort. That was uh not uh that wasn't good. That was my fault. I didn't think he was gonna do a double tail spin swipe. Tail swipe spin. 
Oh, the irony hunting him with a Tigrex gun lance. I made this out of you. He's got a big hitbox when he does his lunge attack, so... It's always a good idea if you have the shield, just make sure that you wait until his attack is finished, and then you continue the assault on him. Oh, maybe I can hit his tail a little bit here. Oh, Tigrix, you've always been one of my favorite monsters. And I was, I think, still in mid-cooldown for my attack. I still remember having such a hard time! Oh, I was not ready for that! As I was saying, oh, I am stuck. I am stuck here. I can't get around him. Ooh, that was a nice double stun. Ooh. God bless my luck there. I'm surprised it didn't hit me again. That was a little bit of an apex roar. As I was saying, I remember my first time fighting the Tigrex on Freedom Unite, and it was such an experience. I'm not talking about when I ran away from him the first time, but I mean when I actually got a chance to fight him for the Village Quest! Oh! What? What? Are the <laughs> God. That was too close for comfort. It was such an exhilarating experience knowing that this monster scared me off the mountain the first time that I encountered him, and then here I am actually taking him on and hunting him down and being able to defeat him was such an accomplishment. I'm gonna see if I can trap him. Looks like they gave us the shock trap. Whoa, he kind of teleported, attacked there. They gave us a shock trap in the blue box before we started the match. They don't seem to do that often in uh, the other hunts. Oh, I can't reach behind him. He's gonna break out of it pretty fast. I'm gonna try to do my ultra. See if this lands on his tail. Oh, I managed to flinch him twice, so that that counts as a victory in my books. He's been flinching a lot, most likely from all the attacks that I've been landing on him. Anytime you see a, a purple attack or slash when I do an, a, a hit on his face like that, that's uh, considered a critical attack, so I'm not showing the damage numbers, but that probably did a lot more damage than all my other attacks. If you look really closely too, I love the attention to detail in this game compared to the other Monster Hunters. The fact that the monster starts getting slashes and cuts and bruises all across his face, it, it makes it look like you're really inflicting damage and hunting the monster. Good chance to get attacks on his tail. I'm gonna block. Let's see if we can sever it. No. About to say, is he gonna spin around? Yes, he is. He is a very fast monster. Oop, I got an opportunity here to keep attacking. Yes! And we severed the tail. As you can see, I've been trying to be better about not doing my full burst attack. Oh, we just broke his face. Yeah. I love that slash right across the side of his, I guess his nose, the bridge of his nose. It looks so cool. Battle Scarred Tigrex. I feel like the fight has been going pretty well, considering that I'm just fighting him alone. So far, so good. <laughs> that was my mistake. Uh oh, that I got caught in that combo for. Uh oh, gotta be careful. I'm gonna eat. Uh, I'm gonna drink this mega potion just in case. Oh, he is limping. All right. So he's gonna be going to his resting zone. And if it's anything like I recall from Freedom Unite, it's probably in Zone 3, kind of where we fought the Blangonga. Alright, we're heading to Zone 3. And if I was correct, yeah. 
He is sleeping away, so I have my Wyvern's Fire ready. Actually, my double Wyvern's Fire, so we're gonna land that. Maybe if it'll feed him. No. Did, did make him flinch, but didn't beat him. Now, again, I'm seeing some graphical errors on the map. I, I'm not sure what's causing it. It's from those lightning bugs. And it only seems to happen on this map. I've never seen that little particle glitch on the, the floor. I guess it's the shadows, maybe? Well, I'm gonna miss this map until they decide to fully implement it. Uh, I would love to hunt more things on the snowy mountains. I'm gonna try to land my alt here. Oh! Oh! And that is the Tigrex. I caught him as he was chasing after me. And he's gonna he's gonna teleport magically to where he actually died. I don't know if that's anything to do with lag, but I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. <laughs> Alright, that wraps up another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts, and also wraps up the Freedom Unite event for now. I'm gonna miss seeing the Snowy Mountains in HD, so hopefully they really bring that back. I, I, Tencent would be crazy not to. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Next week we're gonna be taking a look at the Pink Rathian. Uh, we're gonna go check out some of the HR5, I think it's tier 5. I don't think it's actually 5 and 6 rank like I'm doing 3 to 4 at the moment. I think someone mentioned that it's only rank 5. And if you guys have heard, in the upcoming patch, 2.0, they're going to be adding a lot more monsters to the game. I'm really excited. I, have, I haven't even touched the HR5 Elites yet, so we're going to be taking a look at that shortly as I progress in the game. Please leave your comments below. I love hearing back from you guys. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.